Okay guys, so today I am going to be doing a DIY, uh, seeing, attempting a DIY I should say. Uh, I'm going to be making a cork board uh, for my pens, my pen collection, so I can hang it up on the wall back here. And uh, let's get right into this. So this is what you're going to need to start. Okay, so first of all, spray adhesive. I'm gonna use that to spray on the materials so they stick together. Uh, I'm gonna say you're gonna need a hammer, some nails. There we go. Get a nice exacto blade, fresh. Of course, you're going to need the cork board. Got this from uh, Target, I believe. It was pretty cheap. Either that or Dollar Tree. It's very cheap. I think it was Dollar Tree. And then I got a canvas. I think I'm going to use this. So that way I can mount it on the wall. And then glue the cork pieces on this. That way the pen will have something to grab onto through here and through the canvas. Honestly, I could probably just use the canvas, but I think this will look nice. Okay, and I'm just now realizing I did get this from Dollar Tree, and I think there's actually a adhesive on the back of this. Yeah, there is. So I don't. I, you don't even need this. You don't even need this. But if it doesn't come with adhesive like this does, then this stuff is great. I use this for a lot of projects. So I'm not going to have enough for the full canvas, so I think I'm just going to center it this way. And then maybe up here I can do like a, a text or something, I don't know, some type of customization to it. This tripod's not the best. Cut the excess off. This stuff does not cut that well, apparently. It's very annoying. It's good enough, I guess. It's not too bad. I wonder if with the excess, I could just put it on the sides. Maybe make it look a little better. Makes it look a little better. Okay, so I think I actually, I'm gonna add some black paint to the sides right here. I think it'll make it look better.
Okay, I think it's all dry now. It's pretty decent, I like it. I think I am gonna hang it up this way though. So now what I'm gonna do is get white pen. Yeah. No, I have this one. I have this Krylon silver marker, silver leaf marker. Let's see if this still works. Yeah, that works pretty good. There you go. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so the next step is the last step. Almost. Now all you need is pins. Collection of pins to put on. I got some Pokemon ones. I got some Yu-Gi-Oh ones I haven't opened yet. Dark Magician Girl Summon Skull is pretty sick. I got Kingdom Hearts one. Got another Pokemon one, I believe. And one from Drawfee, which is one of my favorite art uh, YouTube channels. Y'all should go check them out. That's Drawfee. Draw. F-E-E. -E. They're sick. They're like straight pens. Perfect. It's pretty cool that I like this. And then that, that leaf, that gold, uh, not gold, that silver leaf pen goes really well with these pens. So we'll put this one under this one so we have some more room. Put top left. I think that'll be nice. I think I gotta move it over a little bit. These fit really good. This is nice. I didn't know if this was gonna work that well. Let's open these up. Okay. Put Dark Magician Girl up here. It's kind of satisfying how it just pops in place. Right beside. I'm going to fill up with space more later when I get more pens. I think that's pretty cool looking. That looks pretty nice. Now I think if they don't fall out, so you can see the pens in the back. So I wonder if I could just put the caps back on so they don't fall out. So you just put the caps back on through the back of this. That way they don't fall out. They stay tight on there. That works really good. Okay, so there we go. That's how to make a custom DIY cork board for under, I'd say like under $4, because like this canvas I bought at Target for $2, I believe. And the cork board I bought for a dollar, a dollar tree, and it sticks on by itself, so we didn't even have to use this. Um, I use my X-Acto, but you probably already have that if you're doing arts and crafts. Uh, only thing you need after this is the nails and the hammer so that you can hang it up on the wall. And I will transition to that now. Okay, so there it is hanging up on the wall. I think it came out pretty good. I did paint back over the text because I, I didn't like that. 
Um, if you want to add text, you can. Uh, I was, I'd really like to do this again and make it go to the top, get a smaller canvas. But this works for now until I get that. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I need to touch up in there where the white's showing, but other than that, it looks nice. I think it came out pretty decent. So yeah, that's uh, how to make your own cork board. Or you could just buy one pre-made, honestly, but I think it's pretty fun to make. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, comment down below that it helped you. All right. Thank you. Peace.